Sam Smyers here. I'm an artist and music producer in Los Angeles, California. Today I want to talk about Melodyne 5. This is the newest version of Melodyne that just came out earlier this year. There's a bunch of new features that I want to go over, and I also want to talk about whether I think you should upgrade to this new version if you have a previous and older version of Melodyne. So let's get into it. The first new feature of Melodyne 5 is that it now recognizes sibilant sounds. If we take a look at this vocal. Say you ain't looking for love. Tell me we're just friends. And there ain't no chance for us. But that don't make no sense. Sibilant sounds are now identified by these vertical lines. Here is a sibilant sound. Here is a sibilant sound. Here is one. Here is one. We can see that it has now identified all of the sibilant sounds throughout this vocal phrase. In previous versions of Melodyne, whenever I would just a note that had a sibilant noise on it, the sibilant S sound would start to sound a little robotic and sound like it had artifacts. So what you had to do is you had to split each note at the sibilant noise. So I would have to go through individually and split every single sibilant noise off of the note so that whenever I adjusted the note, I wouldn't be adjusting the sibilant sound. Now that Melodyne 5 recognizes that this is a sibilant note, if I change the pitch of this note up or down, it won't affect this sibilant noise. So I can move this up or down, and whichever note I change it to, it won't change anything about this sibilant noise. Now that is a great feature because it saves a lot of mouse clicks. I don't have to split every single note where there is a sibilant noise and then adjust the note separately. It's going to save a bunch of time for my editing process. If I want to adjust the length of the note that is attached to a sibilant noise, I can lengthen or shorten this note without adjusting the sibilant noise. In previous versions of Melodyne, when I would adjust this note, it would also adjust the length of the sibilant noise, therefore sometimes causing artifacts. Here we have a breath before this phrase. A breath is treated the same way as a sibilant noise. If I move the breath up or down, it won't change the pitch. It leaves it alone. So if you have a breath attached to a note and you move that up or down, it won't affect that breath. I can't however adjust the length of a breath because breaths in between notes usually do change. If you shorten two notes together, then the breath will become shorter. So I can adjust the length of a breath. Because Melodyne 5 recognizes sibilant noises, I can now just adjust the amplitude of the sibilant noises. So that means that I can attenuate any S sound. If I go to sibilant balance tool, I can select this sibilant noise and I can adjust the gain up or down. Basically what we have is we have de-essing now built into Melodyne 5. What is also great is I can select a whole range of notes and then adjust the sibilant noises up or down. If you look at all these other sibilant noises, you can see that they're adjusting up or down all at the same time. So basically, I can do all of my de-essing within Melodyne 5. This is going to save a bunch of time because I usually like my vocals to be very bright. And so what I do is I tend to put a de-esser on the vocals as well as automate the gain or volume of the S sounds. So I'm doing a lot of work to try and make sure that I'm controlling a lot of the sibilant noises in the vocals. And now that I can do that in Melodyne 5, it's going to save me so much more time whenever I am mixing these vocals. Using the sibilant balance tool, I can also adjust the gain of the note itself. For example, I basically took out and removed the notes, and now all I have is the S sound. So why would I want to do this? There's another technique to control sibilant noises that you can use, which involves taking the original vocal track, duplicating it, putting a de on that original vocal track, using that de really hard to basically eliminate all of these sibilant noises, and then on the second vocal track that you duplicated, you only have the S noises. So you could just cut them from the original vocal track and put them on the new track, or now you can take Melodyne 5 and isolate the S sounds by themselves, and then you can just mix in those S sounds with the original vocal track. Let me show you another feature. I'm gonna select this whole range of notes, go up to this button here, which is the note leveling macro, and I can make quiet notes louder, and I can also make loud notes quieter. 
If I apply a compressor to a vocal that has really quiet parts and also has really loud parts, I may have to adjust the settings of that compressor for the quiet parts and for the loud parts. With the note leveling macro, I can make the quiet notes louder and the loud notes quieter, therefore reducing the need for me to adjust the settings of the compressor. Another feature that is added is the fade tool. If I go into this note, I can now add a fade to the beginning and the end of this note. Say you ain't looking for love. Tell me we're just friends. I can also adjust the fade. Say you ain't looking for love. Tell me we're just friends. Or I could add a fade to the end of the note. Say you ain't looking for love. Tell me we're just friends. So this fade tool gives you a little bit more control over the amplitude of your notes. Melodyne 5 also has a new pitch correction algorithm. This new algorithm focuses more on the crucial point in the note that makes it sound in or out of tune. That's usually somewhere in the middle of the note, as opposed to in the beginning or the end of the note. The beginning and end of the note are usually where a singer is transitioning from different notes, so those are left largely alone because those are what makes a vocal sound most natural and human. If I highlight this whole section and I apply the correct pitch macro, the pitch center is going to use that new algorithm to determine where the pitch center is. And then the pitch drift is also going to use that new algorithm to determine how to fix the pitch drift. Now, do I think that you should upgrade to Melodyne 5 if you have a previous version of Melodyne? I would say yes. I think that the new sibling detection feature is worth it in itself. Just being able to not have to chop up every single note that has an S in front of it is going to save so much time whenever I'm tuning vocals. Also, the ability to adjust the amplitude of every sibilant noise is going to help with my deessing efforts. The amplitude tools will help, and also the new pitch correction algorithm will help me get better results when I'm tuning vocals. So those are some of the new features of Melodyne 5. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.